going on? Mysteria here. Today we are going to be playing Secret of the Scarlet Hand. Uh, it is one of the earlier Nancy Drew games. It's trying to load. Alrighty. Let's see. You guys let me know if you can see this. start a new game. Welcome to my latest case, Secret of the Scarlet Hand. To start playing, choose either junior or senior detective. If you're new to adventure games or need some help. Dear Dad, greetings from the new deputy curator at Beecher Museum in Washington, D.C. I miss you, by the way. How's Africa? I sure hope this letter reaches you in Ouagadougou before you move on to Nairobi. So I got the internship. Your old friend Franklin Rose was awfully nice to submit my name to the rest of the members of the museum's board of directors. What an opportunity while I'm in between cases. As you probably know, the museum specializes in ancient Maya culture. My supervisor is going to be Joanna Riggs, a well-known archaeologist. Maybe you've seen her name in the news recently, in conjunction with the discovery of a strange Maya monolith. Apparently it's created quite a buzz among experts in the field. Well, Beach Hill plans to feature the monolith in an upcoming exhibition. Just imagine, this artifact has been buried for hundreds of years, and now it's going to be unveiled to the public for the first time. The museum is short-staffed at the moment, and they're expecting such a huge turnout that they've closed their doors to prepare. I can hardly wait to dig into this exciting project and learn how archaeologists and historians solve the mysteries of ancient cultures. I'll keep you posted. Love, Nancy. Nancy Drew, I presume. I'm Joanna Riggs. Welcome to Beach Hill. I was just checking the lock on this display case. This is one of the museum's most treasured pieces, a carving of King Pakal. Who is King Pakal? Pakal assumed the throne at age 12. Can you imagine? That was 615 AD. Hi, he ruled for 68 years at the height of the Maya civilization. Is that jade? Yes, the Maya loved jade and used it for many of their carvings. There isn't another piece like this in the world, and it's priceless, which means I practically had to sell my own grandmother to get it. How did the museum acquire it? Leave it to Taylor Sinclair. He's a wizard when it comes to these deals. You'll meet him later. Now then, Nancy, you're coming on board at a critical time for Beach Hill. An exhibit of this caliber is not kid stuff. Franklin Rose assures me you're a real trooper, and I hope he's right, because I'm not here to babysit. I don't care who your father is. All right. Let's see. What's, what what we got to say? Uh, if there's one thing I've learned from my father, it's the value of hard work. Just tell me where to start. There's a list of tasks for you in the lab. Once you've knocked those off, we'll regroup. Where's the rest of the staff around here? We've had to make some, uh, budget cutbacks, so we'll be relying heavily on our volunteer staff. Namely, you. <laughs> Besides Henrik and me, the only people who will be around to pester you are Taylor Sinclair, my ace art dealer, and Alejandro Del Rio, attaché to the Mexican consulate and executive thorn in my side. Looks good. Tell me more about Alejandro Del Rio. Ugh, wouldn't you rather hear about the monolith? It's a massive pillar of stone, nearly 1,500 years old, with Maya glyphs carved into it. We've installed it in the garden. Wait until you see it. Okay. What purpose did the monolith serve? According to Henrik, the monolith was made at the special request of King Pakal himself, but we don't know what its purpose was. Okay. 
Who's Henrik? Henrik Vanderhoon, world-renowned expert in Maya hieroglyphics. He's the latest addition to the Beach Hill Brain Trust. I told him I don't even want to see his pointy Vander head till he's got a translation on that monolith. Thanks for the orientation, Joanna. I'll talk to you later. Bye! Okay. Alright. Prudence Rutherford. Okay, so she inherited that. Topeka Commission for the Arts. How cultured. All right. I have no idea why it let me look that close. Oh, it's just let me see the art pieces, I guess. Okay. So, let's see. Okay, so this is like where, like a little map. need anything else. How do I get out? There. The knob is missing. Okay. So. I don't want to go here. Just... Let me hear. Good thing Franklin gave me the museum key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Topeka Commission for the Arts. That's the organization Prudence Rutherford works for. Good to know. Okay. So I need to, what's this? Not a. Addenda contract between the Republic of Mexico and Beach Hill. Beach Hill shall make two payments. Woo! Of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. The first being paid upon execution of this contract. The second being paid thirty days after the delivery of the property. More than two hundred days. Joanna signed it, and Alejandro hasn't. Okay. Good, son of a bitch.
You must be Nancy, the new deputy curator. I'm Henrik Vanderhune. Okay. That's right, I'm Nancy. Joanna tells me you're translating the glyphs on the Palenque monolith. Yes, it's quite a project. The opportunity of a lifetime for me. How's the translation coming along? Fabulous, just fabulous. <clears throat> anyway, what can I do for you? Hmm. Joanna turned me loose without too many instructions. Do you have any advice for me? Well, as you've probably heard, the museum is closed in preparation for the exhibit, so you'll have free run of the place. Please explore. The sooner you get to know your way around, the better. Think of the lab as your home base, your center of communications. Anyone who wants to get in touch with you will leave a note or a voicemail here, so check in often. I'm very busy with my work, so you're going to have to be pretty independent, but I suspect you wouldn't have it any other way. Okay. I'm curious about your work. How do you go about translating a glyph anyway? It can be a complicated process, involving research, piecing lots of different elements together, and a healthy dose of guesswork. Hmm. So there isn't a definitive dictionary of Maya glyphs where you can look things up? Oh, I'm afraid not. You see, glyphs are so intricate and full of subtleties that multiple meanings may be embedded in a single glyph. So three distinct-looking glyphs may all translate to mean sunshine, roughly, but with different nuances. There is so much we still don't know. Lucky for me, I guess, or I'd be out of a job. <laughs> See you around, Henrik. Bye. It looks like some pieces are missing. Okay. Buy milk. I shouldn't be messing around with this without permission. Whatever. Oh, here's the manual for it. Nice. It's locked. It's locked. Hmm. It's locked. Well, shit. All right. Okay. Order bubble wrap, match recorded narrations, order Maya, numbering exhibit. Sunny was here. Okay, I hate that bull game. It's all random. Or is it choosing when I pass, when the computer passes? 
four pieces of corn different than dice. Try Pascal's triangle. One and three, frequency of four, two. Hmm. The Beach Hill Gang. <laughs> Saw some clear. Hmm. Okay, so this is like the map of the garden and the ex exhibition hall. can't eat it. Periodic table. Anything else? What's this? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that's for. Uh... Let's see what else I can go up to and touch. This? Do not operate without permission. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try. I shouldn't be messing around with this without permission. So. Whatever. Do what I want. Alright. Greetings. Did you know the deputy curator who was here before me? Hurricane Sunny? I'm afraid I did. If he wasn't losing paperwork or setting off the fire alarm, he was cornering our visitors with his theory that the Maya were abducted by aliens. That's Sunny June. I'm afraid you'll be cleaning up his messes for a while. Hmm. Can I give that ham radio a try? Absolutely not. Why? The radio is a tool, not a toy. One has to be extremely careful about the kind of information one sends out over the airwaves. And I do not have time to monitor you. And besides, the vacuum tubes have been terribly fussy lately. If another one blows, I think I'll go mental. Hm. Okay. What about that? What is the Spectro X Archeo Analyzer for? It's used for identifying chemical compounds that are found on artifacts, traces of ink, blood charcoal and other substances. The beauty of the machine is that it can collect these traces without damaging the artifact in any way. But it cost us a fortune, so don't fiddle with it unless you get Joanna's permission. Trace um, element um, machines like we have in the chem labs are really, really expensive too. And they're really finicky and you have to, what's the word I'm looking for? Calibrate them. All right, all See right. you around, Henrik. I suspect you will. Okay. I'm out of here. I know what that is. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Clay Jade. Limestone, limestone, stone. 
carving, and I identified glyph, classic. Hibacoa Valley, Cuba. Tabasco, Mexico. Chichen Itza. Okay, Honduras. Okay. Sunny stuff. Anything else, Sunny June? No. What's that? One seventeen oh four. Why not? I'm gonna go to the top of the Mayan pyramid. I should put in my temple key card. Mm, I do have one. Hmm? Ah, shit. I know what this is. Okay, got it. Okay. I have no idea what that just did, but... Oh, I found pottery shard. Played this in um, Curse of Blackmore Manor with Jane, and they had referred to this game in the Curse of Blackmore Manor because this is we this game actually came before Curse of Blackmore Manor, so Nancy had already played this game before she even played with Jane. At that point, this sucks.
playing this game. Hey. Don't you just Hut. love the uh, Hut. sound? Hut. 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 Playing this damn bowl game that we played in uh, Curse of Blackmore Manor. <laughs> Fuck. You're fine. Hut. What time is it? I didn't start all too long ago. You've not missed very much. You've missed a little bit of like me wandering around and looking at shit, but I've not figured anything out yet. <laughs> I have always hated this game. Hut. 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 You're fine. Hut. this game. Yeah, he did get 11 kills. And then he got really mad because somebody killed him. Who am I on?
Yeah. Yeah, like super salt. <laughs> Fuck. Damn. Last one, right? Hut 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 Fuck Hut. you. puzzle um, okay I know how to do that I've already done that did that level one quiz I have to type it in. Whatever. So I don't have a key card for that. It's locked. Of course it is, Nancy. Limestone panel depicts a presentation of three captives to the throne of Shield Jaguar the second. Okay. Bicephalic altar? This altar was dedicated during the reign of the 16th ruler of Copan, Yax Passa. The focal point to this artifact is a large two-headed crocodile. This creature is called the Bicephalic Monster. It represents the continuous cycle of life and death. Okay. Sure it does. Stila of Noble. So it's a stele. Little is known about this relief. It depicts a nobleman standing on a captive. Note the elaborate headdress and cape containing references to Thalok, the rain god. I don't know how to pronounce that. Stay on the path. <laughs> the 
seating figures are a royal couple whose detail is unusual for this area. The function of the artifact is unknown, but may have been part of a throne. Inscriptions reveal that the piece was dedicated to the goddess of the moon. Ix Ixchil? So that was the throne, so I did guess right there. It's been alright. How about yours, Reese? It's late there, I know. Your day is pretty much over. This side looks damaged. Nancy Drew, or should I say, Detective Drew. I'm Sinclair. I told you I was a detective. I was at a meeting with the BOD recently, and I caught wind of your appointment and your credentials. Very impressive, if I do say so myself. The BOD? That would be the board of directors, those cranky I, old cats. They do yeah, keep I the guess ducks it would squared away you. around here. I'll give them that. So, how's this for a specimen? Ever seen a million dollars worth of rock before? Mm, no. Can't say. Yeah. Do diamonds count? Ouch. Well, they did say you were sharp. Seriously, though, thank goodness you're here. I'm afraid the museum may be in terrible jeopardy. What kind of jeopardy? Joanna told me to butt out, but I'm yep. so fond of Beach Hill, I just hate to see it fall prey to scoundrels. Rika. What? The spell. The microphone. Okay, I think I got it. Joanna told you to butt out mm -hmm. of what? It's a sensitive subject. Meet me in my office later and I'll explain everything then. Okay. Well, where's your office? Where's your office? 707 Bing Cherry Boulevard. I've got to go. Enjoy your first day at Beach Hill. Thank you, weirdo. Interesting. That's a button, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Okay. Looks like this side is missing a part. <laughs> okay, so I'm missing like a whole piece right there. Okay, and then so uh, Okay, so I'm done with that. No, I want to let me leave. Okay. This lentil shows Lady's sock. Shield Jaguar's wife celebrating her husband's accession. Lady Zock kneels with her hupil tied around her knees. The hupil is a traditional woven Maya blouse that holds both symbolic and ceremonial significance. The Maya believed that hupils had magic powers. Okay. You have two months? That sucks. Yeah, they, they generally get out here, depending on where you are in the States. Sometimes they get out at, like, the end of May, but it can go, like, all the way to the middle of June, just depending on where, you, where you're at. But it just means that you either start back to school in, like, mid-August or late August, so generally. Jaguar. 
details his capture of a call hall or prominent local nobleman. Okay. No, don't. You guys got a better education system than here. Why do you go that way? Okay. Mm, an early Maya ruler, Bactul, is represented in the stela performing a vision quest ceremony. The vision serpent looms over the king, revealing the ancient spirit that is being contacted. Four miniature gods hang onto the body of the vision serpent. Okay. Mm hmm. Sure. <laughs> yeah, they usually just pretty much go all the time. The marriage between Shield Dragonwire and Lady Zok is represented in this piece. Lady Zok offers a shield and Jaguar helmet to her betrothed. Okay. Famous British explorer Archibald Rutherford Rutherford discovered this piece in 1884 within the Pelenke Temple. The, ne the text on the slab commemorates Pekal's ascension date. Okay. To Zulkin. Zulkin. I don't know how to say that. I really Okay. I'm back over to Scribes. Yeah, they were also popular in the Middle East. Replicas of body shaking meme devices. The Maya used these devices to change their appearance. Oh shit. Yeah, they don't do that here. They pretty much compress it all into like, like the nine months or whatever. And then they get like two and a half months off. Nine and a half months, two and a half, what, you know what I mean? Ball game artifacts. Kings. Maya kings not only ruled their people's political and military affairs, but their religious practices as well. Kings were considered to be divinely appointed by the supreme god Itzamna. 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 While the majority of kings were male, there were several not notable exceptions, including Lady Kalnal Ikal who ruled for over 20 years. Okay. Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Pakal, whose name translates to shield, was born in 603 Common Era and ascended the throne in 615 Common Era. At the age of 12, considered both a priest king and a military ruler, Pakal claimed divine descent and ruled the great Maya city state of P 
Palenque for 68 years until his death. He was born in 603. Oh, he lived to be pretty old. Uh, the 11th ruler, he was responsible for the majority of the city's construction. His ancestry and accomplishments are immortalized in the temples and palaces, especially the Temple of the Inscriptions, which was the primary sacred site and later the shrine of his tomb. He was buried wearing the Jade Death Mask. You see here, the mask was meant to distinguish Pakal as royalty, even in the afterlife. Much of what we know about King Pakal and the Maya civilization over which he presided has been pieced together by translating the glyphic inscriptions on his tomb. Okay. Cool. Cool, bro. This one that I saw. The mystery of Pakal's mother offers her son the divine crown for his ascension to the throne. Powerful figure. This unusual jade relief features an intricate representation of Lord Pakal, one of the greatest rulers of the Maya classical period. Both the origin and function of this highly stylized piece are unknown. Oh, it's that piece that we saw at the very beginning. Okay. Okay. And these are just more pieces. Gods. Religion played an important role. Uh, all scientific progress was impelled by the priest's need to understand and manage the sacred forces of the Maya universe. Different gods represented aspects of Mayan life, from basket weaving to calendar days. Even today, little is known about the role or names of the gods represented in Maya artifacts. Well, they sacrifice things to them. Let's see. Calendar stones. Zolkin. Compute the 260-day ceremonial year. Okay. What about these? What are these? Three mass depicts the corn god, Yumcox, the jaguar god. Mm, is it Balang? Balang? I don't know. The sun god, Ahukin. The deities depicted in this exhibit are the rain, moon, and sun gods. Okay. Cool. That's a long time. They just get like a, because uh, Easter's always on a Sunday, so they get the Friday off before and usually the Monday off after. Or do they get the Monday off? I don't remember. Maya are renowned for their functional and stylistic expertise in pottery, painting, architecture, and jewelry. Artisans work with a variety of materials, including clay, jade, gold, limestone, and wood. The variety of tools and materials used by the Maya demonstrate a complex and thriving trade system. Offering bowl to the war god Balak. It's interesting. These religious names that they associate with these gods. And it's interesting how they almost all mirror each other. The logograph for black. Volok. And they said, what god was he? War. And I think in... I can't remember whose it was. I think it's uh I don't remember if it's Hellenistic or what, but there's a god there that sounds similar to Bollock. 
The term Maya refers to the group of Mesoamerican Indians from the region of southern Mexico and northern Central America, noteworthy for their cultural and scientific achievements from 1800 before Common Era to 1500 Common Era. Mayan society was comprised of a complex system of nobility, priests, warriors, workers, and slaves. Same thing that they had over in Egypt and the Middle East. Same thing. Worlds apart, though. Uh, Mayan ruins, like the one featured in this photo, can be found throughout southern Mexico, Guatemala, and western Honduras. Even today, new cities are being discovered by archaeologists. It locked. Ham radio. Cortazar Alvarez expedition, nineteen fifty-five. Okay. It locked. Okay. Well, I didn't realize that I was going to be touching the ship. put together that pottery piece. There. Now I can start putting this together. Okay. Until it was the time that you could stay around. Maybe I'm supposed to put it together in here. I don't know. Just not doing very much. That's done. I don't know the dates or anything. I'm not that versed in it. Ramadan. Because 
when I took World Religions, we had to go over, like, the top five world religions. And, uh... Oh, okay. Yeah, we had to go over... It was like, since it was like a world religions class in one semester, and we had five different religions that we had to cover, we, I mean, we didn't go like super into depth in it, but we went over that. We went over Ramadan, and, and uh, it's like the second biggest religion. And then regular, like Christianity is number one. Fifth is like the Sikhs, like the really peaceful Sikhism. And then four and three, I think, are interchangeable. It's between Buddhists and uh, Hinduism, I think. Is it? Why do you say that? We don't observe anything here, so. What? The religion of Reek and Ray. Oh my fuck. I don't know what to do with you. Alright, so I need to call I need a a pen. Can I get an all oh, right? Yeah, that's about right. Right. I remember it was like something you do with fast fasting, but I don't remember for how long you do it. I remember there was, huh? A month? I can't remember the time, like, and then like after, like it, it started on Thursday. And then isn't like after you do like all the fasting for X amount of time you have like a like a feast? I I can't remember. Yeah, 29 to 30 days. Alright, let me write this down. 202 What's what's that? Account number C H one one nine K. All right, I gotta call them. You have no voicemail. Press nine for an outside line. So I need to call two one two oh two five 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 nine nine six three. Oh, okay, that's what you call. I don't know how to pronounce that though. Really? Five 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 nine nine six three. There we go. Oh, okay. Silvio's Curatorial Bonanza is open from 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. Please call back during regular business hours. Okay, so... Must be late. Boswell, Jackson, and Rose. May I speak to Franklin Rose, please? Who may I say is calling? This is Nancy Drew. Just a minute, please. Nancy, great to hear from you. How's the internship treating you? Are Joanna and Henrik showing you the ropes? So far, so good, I think. There's a lot of work to do before we launch this exhibit, but somehow we'll pull it off. Glad to hear you're settling in. I'm off to a meeting, but feel free to call me if you have any questions. I'm sure everything's going to be smooth sailing, Mr. Rose. Bye, kiddo. Okay. So... Let's see. I'm gonna put that over. Mm. Ha. Huh. 
night. My is water, what? Oh yeah, I gotta go back behind here and put this here and open the door and open the door and I guess I'll just go take that one. Okay, and close the door. Okay. So let me think. Joanna still up? No, it's late. Okay. So was he there? Can I touch that? I shouldn't be messing around no. with this without permission. Nancy Drew just has all that morality. Not even gonna touch it if he's not there. <sighs> Nancy, you bug the shit out of me sometimes. Hotel room. Oh, that's a really nice hotel room. It's nice. What else is in my hotel room that I could touch? I can't touch this. Hey, Beth. It's me, Nancy. What's new? It's pouring rain. George and I are in the middle of a heated game of Go Fish, and I'm winning. Don't believe a word she says, Nancy. Last hint, I made mincemeat out of her. Anyway, we don't want to make you homesick. How's the internship going? So far, so good. There's a lot of excitement about the upcoming exhibit, especially since we have the Palenque monolith. The who? The monolith. It's a giant block of stone recently excavated from a cave near Palenque in Mexico. Apparently, it's a very big deal. They think it's 1,500 years old. So, have you seen it? This, uh, monolith? Yeah, it's humongous. Must weigh a ton. Like how big? As big as a refrigerator? <laughs> Maybe Bigfoot's refrigerator. Sorry, Nancy, but... How would a person tell this monolith apart I can't from, say, see that. some other big rock? Well, for one thing, it has Maya glyphs carved into it. Glyphs? Pictures that represent words or ideas, also known as tell. logographs. Joanna says and the I glyphs might be them. a message from King Pakal. What kind of message? We don't know yet. Henrik Thank van der Heen, Beach Hills epigrapher, is working on a translation. Who was King Pakal? He's considered one of the great Maya rulers. He reigned at the height of the Maya civilization. Well, Nancy, you're sounding very curatorial. Very curatorial indeed. We've been worried that you would be a little bored without a mystery <laughs> to solve, but it sounds like your brain will have plenty to chew on. The whole Maya culture is a mystery to me at the moment. The last thing I'm going to be is bored. I'm sure of that. Speaking of kings, this card game's not over yet, Beth. 
Yes, well, I hope you've got plenty of bait for your fishing pole, dear cousin. Okay, you two. I'll call back later. Call back soon. Yeah, and good luck. Okay. No. Go away. Alright, so let's can we do that? Can we do that? And I need a disc. I need a disc. I need a disc. I have one. I need a disc. I need a disc. So where won't you let me put in the disc? I need a disc. I need a disc. I need a disc. <sighs> okay. Wait, can I put one here? <laughs> was your password Coco Fuck. Oh, yeah. I feel like um Coco Yeah, what was it? It's Coco Kringles. It's the candy bar. I'm gonna have to go back and look. Quit. All right, I'm gonna have to go back and look. Alarm. Oh, I hate that sound. It's one of the worst sounds in the world. on chalkboard. Mm, oh, I gotta go talk to Taylor Sinclair at his office. Silvio's Curatorial Bonanza. May I speak to Silvio Jr., please? This is Silvio Jr. What can I do for you? I'd like to place an order, please. 
Have you ordered from us before? Yes, I think so. We have an account number. Okay, good. That saves me a lot of paperwork. What's the account number? BH-119K. BH-119... BH-119K? Beach Hill? Are you serious? That's right. I'm the new deputy curator, Nancy Drew. Well, whoop de doo It's Nancy Drew. But Silvio's curatorial bonanza no longer does business with Beach Hill. I've sent all six of the outstanding invoices to a collection agency. And you jokers won't get another packing peanut out of Silvio Jr. ever. Do not call here again. Okay, so... That's interesting. So I can mark that off my list. Reorder my reorder my memory name generator. Um, I need to get the addenda. Where do I get that from? Pretty much cleaning up Sunny June's mess. They that guy said he sent six invoices. Where are they going? Alejandro. Don't mind me. I am just going to poke around. How may I help you? Hi. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew, the new deputy curator over at Beach Hill. So, you're Joanna Riggs' newest pirate in training. How does it feel to join the ranks with the modern-day conquistadors? Mm. I beg your pardon, but how does a deputy curator become a pirate in your book? You had better brush up on your history, young lady. When the Spanish explorers invaded Mexico, they became known as the conquistadors, or conquerors. They robbed the indigenous peoples of their wealth. Not just their gold, but their artwork, their sacred objects. Anything they did not steal, they burned to the ground. Do you blame Joanna and modern-day art collectors for something that happened long before they were born? There is more. In the 19th century, archaeologists discovered the ruins of ancient civilizations predating even the Aztecs. Many of the dig sites were robbed, and the stolen artifacts were sold off to art museums and collectors around the world. Today, finally, it is illegal among most civilized nations to remove an artifact from its native country. But sadly, there are thousands of precious antiquities with highly questionable provenance floating around the Western world. What do you mean by questionable provenance. An artifact's provenance is the story of its origin and ownership. For example, how it made its way from a temple at Chichen Itza I to know, a museum in Washington, D.C. <laughs> if the artifact's provenance reveals that it has been stolen, then that artifact must be returned to the country of its origin. Okay. So, the problem has been remedied, hasn't it? No, 
Not at all. Provenance documents are often tampered with or forged to cover up the theft. Because of this, thefts continue and a great deal of art is moved on the black market, even today. Unethical art dealers and greedy museum curators do nothing to stop this. Gotcha. <laughs> This is probably like more like 2000 graphics. Uh, Are you suggesting Beach Hill is involved in these kinds of misdealings? If Joanna Riggs or that overstuffed pillowhead Sinclair had any decency, they would take measures to see that all Maya artifacts were returned to Mexico at once where they belong. Okay. Uh, I don't think he's going to. Well, I think I'll have to chew on some of these issues for a while, Alejandro. In the meantime, I do need you to sign off on these changes to the loan agreement for the monolith. Do you mind? I am still not happy that such a rare find will have its debut exhibition on American soil. But in my country, too, there are people for whom money talks. I will take those documents now. I guess I should give him the contract. I guess so. It's this one. Thank you. I have some business with Joanna at the museum later, so I will return the contract to her then, after I have looked it over. Are you sure? I don't mind waiting. You may consider your mission accomplished. Okay. Well, uh, okay then. Goodbye. He's right, though. Okay, so I need to go see Sinclair. He told me to meet him at his office. Ugh. I don't know how Regan does this. This chair hurts my back. Mexico. Mexico. Yeah, well, we're about to meet another one. It's about time. Oh, my fears are like maggots infesting my poor old carcass. Mm. Want a cookie? They're from Oaxaca. N no, no, <laughs> I'm good. No, thank you. You said Beach Hill is in jeopardy. I need to know why. The art world is being ransacked, Nancy. Prudence Rutherford. A major patron of the arts had her fire ruby Touchable. necklace stolen from her villa in Topeka. Two weeks later, a whole display case full of rare Maya artifacts was heisted from a museum in New Mexico. Hmm. That's how I do it. Shut up. Oh my god. All right, let's see. What does this have to what do with What does Beach this Hill? have to do with Beach Hill? I'm just telling you, this community our friends and colleagues, my people, are being systematically trounced by thugs. Mm. Who's to say Beach Hill won't be next? You've got to do something. Okay. So... Doesn't Beach Hill have a security system in place? The museum has a basic alarm system, but it's not exactly state of the art. I've urged Joanna to approach the board about making some security upgrades, but she just keeps saying that the timing isn't right to ask for money. God, I say, shut up. Damn. When I play this, I get an urge for... Chocolate. For a hot chocolate with cayenne pepper in it. Okay, so. Uh, 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 I understand your concern, but... What can I do to help? <laughs> we need your eagle eyes. Oh, yeah. We need your bat ears. We need you to sniff out the like stink of trouble. Level graphics. Okay. Uh, I'll do my best, but it sounds like what you really need is a new breed of police dog. Don't play modest mouse with me. Okay, no more flattery. 
Hey, that's an interesting piece. There, by your desk. Something tells me it's not a Maya artifact. How about that rubber shark? The artist's name is Poppy Dada. She's a teenager in South Dakota. The art world is going bananas over her stuff. I'll unload that one for some serious dinero. I wonder if that, uh, Poppy Dada... Isn't that that one YouTuber's name that's really fucking weird? Poppy? Poppy? Yeah? Yeah, so, uh, yeah. Okay. So in this, she's really, like, her art is really weird. Joanna says you performed an act of wizardry in helping Beach Hill acquire the Pakal carving. Getting those provenance docks together was a pig and a half. Oh, they're on the up and up, I assure you. But, ah, uh, to have been at the height of my career back before the crackdown, those were the days. Eagle eyes, bat ear, sniff out, yes. We are all mutated. Thank you. One's out. Okay. Getting those province docks together was a pig and a half. What the fuck is that? Oh, and they're up and up, I assure you, but uh hard in my career back in the day. Okay, those were the days. Those were the days of our lives. Hmm. What's that? A pig and a half? Maybe sometime I'll tell you a sad story I call how Mexico lost its sense of humor. Not today, though, Nancy. Ooh. Mm. Alejandro says you're unethical, a modern-day conquistador, that you're robbing Mexico of its cultural history. What do you have to say about that? <laughs> and I say Alejandro is the real bully of the playground, a lunch money extortionist who loves nothing more than to see the other boys and girls go hungry. When you sell a piece of art, what kind of commission do you get? Standard, 10%. It's no king's ransom, unless of course you sell something for a million bucks. Too bad I'm not allowed to put that monolith on the market, huh? No, it's not too bad. People don't do that. I'd better get going. Thanks for stopping by. about 45 more minutes because I'll probably cut it when you go to sleep when you have to leave since you're like one of the only ones that really watches the Nancy Drew plays anyway about the old ones is that it's hard to control the movement. He's still not there. He's all good. I didn't start my cats. Oh yeah. So I, the last two things I have to do, 
Does match recorded narrations to appropriate displays and reorder my num numbering exhibit. Reorder. I don't want it. Oh, I gotta go. I'll do that later. Um. Beach Hill's been hit. Sit tight, Nancy. The police are on their way. Okay. Well, never mind. It scared the shit out of me. So you don't drink- you don't even drink water. Okay. I should talk to Joanna before I touch anything. So it's that jade piece. That she had just got. Where's she at? Come in. Come in. No. Oh, the fucking door. Okay. Uh, where'd she go? Where are you? Someone has cooked up my worst nightmare and served it to me on a plate. I'm sorry about the theft, Joanna. It must be a terrible loss for the museum. That's the understatement of the year. Okay. Did the police find any clues around the display case? The police took some samples for the crime lab, but they couldn't promise any overnight results. So if you want to put your little magnifying glass up to the scene, it's fine with me. What were their initial findings? Who knows? Right now, my priority is to get a move on this insurance claim. Mm, what do I do with I'm those? not sure what to do with those exhibit narrations. Henrik can help you with that. Why did you become a museum curator? I became a curator because I want to help make artifacts available to as many people as possible. That's all that matters, isn't it? Unless you're Alejandro Del Rio. When did Henrik come on board? I got an email from him one day saying he heard the news about Beach Hill getting the monolith. He said he'd drop everything to come here and translate those glyphs. He was even willing to take a pay cut. What could I say except giddy up? You're hired. Okay. Where was he working before? At the Chaco Canyon Cultural Center in New Mexico. Do you think Alejandro would go to extreme measures, like stealing, to reclaim Mexico's artifacts? Who knows? Okay. I've got work to do. Semper ubi sabubi. Sure. Sure. Semper... Uh, the only it's always. But that's a much better place. Okay, so I gotta go look at the... Where is it stolen from? It's stolen from... Nope, gotta be on the other side. Here, Kings. Need something? Have you seen Henrik? I found a piece of paper inside the Pakal display case. It had some glyphs on it and a print of a red hand. I'm hoping he can give me a translation. What am I, fish food? Henrik's not the only one around here who can read a glyph, you know. Okay. Sorry, Joanna. I thought I was supposed to go to Henrik with all my glyph questions. The police showed me the note. It said, the magician suffers yellow death, whatever that means. Apparently, the thief just couldn't come up with the glyphs for the curator suffers flaming purple disgrace. Die. Yeah, Regan would die after an hour if he couldn't eat or drink anything. I would kill people. I think it's a little of an exaggeration, but... No, fuck no, it's not. I would fucking kill someone. I would <laughs> born out of their body and eat them. Well, you know, if you were born over there, that'd be normal. Yeah, if I was born over there, I'd still kill someone and eat them. <laughs> 
you talking about? <laughs> uh, you have to fast for uh, 29 to 30 days. You better fucking run. <laughs> Fuck Tom, he's a motherfucking weirdo. <laughs> Actually, you know, they're not, they're not the only ones that fast. Because, you know, there's Lent over here. Yeah. I mean, she's still wearing the shoes. I'm fuck that. Mm. I'm curious about the red handprint the feet left. Does it have any significance in Maya culture? Afraid I can't help you there. What I want to know is what the hand was printed with. It's obviously not finger paint. Why don't you do a little analysis on it in the lab? I haven't seen Henrik since the theft. Where do you think he could be? Who knows? Well, you're a big fucking bunch of help. The first day is the hardest. I bet it is. I do Lent here, it's like you fast. It's for like, you give up something for Lent. I don't think you actually have to fast, but you give up something for Lent. They do fast. I don't know. Religion's not my thing. Relatively. <laughs> and I mean, sometimes it was, it was hard finding, I mean, it was one of those challenges for food, but I ain't never went more than a day, maybe. But okay, I've got a graph of work. the chemical use for the handprint, now I've got to match it up with a known substance. That's it! Mercury sulfide is what that is. So, mercury. Bam. Okay. Mercury sulfide. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. stream yesterday, Rick, and he went to sleep straight away. Oh, yeah, fuck, I would, too. I'd sleep, I'd sleep for 30 fucking days. I'd hibernate like a fat man. Nancy, hi. It's Franklin Rose. I'm calling because it's just... This theft is very bad news for the museum. You can't imagine the limb we went out on to acquire that Pakal carving. It's been one of the museum's main attractions. Um, I don't want to take you away from your internship, but if you can do a little investigating, well, I think I speak for the whole board when I say we'd be very grateful. Give me a call when you have a chance. And Nancy, thanks. To replay messages, press zero. Press nine for an outside line. Boswell, Jackson, and Rose, how may I direct your call? This is Nancy Drew. Calling for Franklin Rose, please. Just a minute, please. Nancy, hello. Do you have any news? Not really, but something tells me this case is going to get complicated. Oh, Nancy, you zero in day. on a case like a heat-seeking missile, don't you? I feel so much yeah, better knowing you're me. going to follow up on every lead. I'll help in any way I can. Like, if it's on a weekend, we, we'll sleep till about nine, I think. 
when Renee is not doing anything. Now make it like 2 p.m. and we're good. Ugh. So when does it start? I didn't ask you. Okay. Uh, thanks. thanks, Mr. Rose. That's what I'm here for. Okay. Uh, I gotta call that place. That... Where did I see that number? Oh, there's a paper. Nancy, something's come up. I'll be gone for a bit. Your mission in the meantime. Run through the temple activities to verify that all questions can be answered based on info available also in the museum. We don't want a little rascal rebellion on our hands when the exhibit opens now, do we? Yeah. Why at, why at 257? Like, that, that's like a really specific time. It's not an even time. Like, why not three? Are complete, especially on school nights? Yeah. Okay. Did your whole household observe that? I would assume so. I don't know why. Just, yeah, just Reese. No, he's the only one. Don't mind him. Oh, I didn't even put my thing in anyway, so it didn't fucking matter. I'm not the only one. Your mom's ill. Oh, I'm sorry. She's just not feeling very good. It's locked. Oh, I need a code. It needs a card. Thanks for the obvious, Nancy. Just realize it starts at 57 a.m. as the sun rises about that time, I think. Not sure, though. That's early. It ends at sunset. Hmm.
So at about 9.14 p.m. tomorrow, what's a day for me? What do you need to do with me? Good. That's one of those cultural differences things. Like, that's really... It's really neat that people do that. Like, the separate... Like, two separate cultures. The marriage. I don't need the marriage. Where did he rule? British explorer. Alan K. I'm gonna write that down because I will not spell that correctly. Uh, pay A L E N Q. Chiapas. Chiapas, Mexico. Birds and shit are so loud. What are you going on about? Oh. Because I can hear you through my headphones, and if I can hear you, you're loud. Mm, let's see. Palin K. Remember her name? Something Jack. See, this is the shit that sucks about Nancy Drew is that you don't know what you're needing until they ask the question, and then you gotta go back and figure shit out. And then I gotta go through all this again. Carved panel, throne, shield, second. What is this? Go forward. Go forward. Yes. Uh, not what I want. Uh, nope. Rain God. Okay, so Lady Zock, Lady is his wife. I just want to write that down. Uh, I'm gonna write down Huey Pool. I don't know how to say that. Um, because it's in the italics, and I'm probably gonna need it. They say, they spell it like Stila instead of with the E. I did not see anything about his mom in here. Nothing. Where's Jaguar? Call Hall.
just say some bullshit. Need to be. Okay, so it was Cal and K. And then Pascal's mother. You're okay. Uh, it wasn't Lady Zoc, because that was his wife. But I'm gonna write it anyway. Huh. Um, I have no fucking clue. Would it be in here? Gods, rituals, kings, king. He was a king, right? Divinely appointed. Lady Kanali Call. Uh, lady. I'm gonna write it down. Uh, call. It's hard to pronounce these names. Shield. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, 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 uh. It doesn't say anything about his mom. Mom. Oh, that's her. That's her name right there, Lady Z A C K U K. All right. Fuck. All that to find his mom's name. Shit. Okay. Okay. Please. So it was Hal and K, and then it was Lady Z A C K U K. What is the name of the calendar used to compute? Oh fuck! How can you observe it? <laughs> For one name, I'm telling you. So what I need to do is, because every time I'm going to have to leave and come back, I'm going to have to start at question one and go all the way through this shit again. So now i got to figure out the name of the Mayan calendar, because I don't know the official fucking name for it. Oh, where did I see that? It was in... Who were the Maya? Isn't it weird? Like these people were in like Central America and Mexico, like this whole, like the Aztecs, the Mayans and all the native people over there. But their systems were set up just like the ones in Egypt, just like the ones over, you know, like it's so weird that they're mirrored. A lot of the, these ancient cultures mirrored each other and how they evolved and adapted. They all had like their kings like that claimed divinity. So they were able to rule over. They had like these small militaries. They had priests that like priests were like second underneath the kings because the king like the only person higher than a king was God and they've got like their, or was it the priest above the king? I can't remember, but anyway, they all had that same hierarchy. 
and they're worlds away. Okay, so I need the calendar. Offering bowl. I don't want the offering bowl. I need the calendar. That's what I need. Gods. Religion. Uh, calendar. <laughs> there it is. The Sulkin. T Z O L K I N. Okay. Okay. It is kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, that's it. So now I gotta go and put that in. It is interesting when you first start learning about it, especially since it's not over here. And it's like the history that we end up learning because we learn none of that shit uh, in our history classes. But it's neat. Mm. All right, I'm gonna move this for a minute. So I gotta, I gotta get closer. Okay, so. Palinke. And then Lady Zach. And then T-Z-O. L K I N Sulkin. All right, next question. Oh. What is the name of the supreme god in Maya mythology? I don't know if it's just me, but every time I read this, it's probably correct because Nancy Drew does a lot of research into whatever game, whatever they're doing. So they say Maya mythology, but I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's correct, but I always want to say Mayan mythology, and I don't think that's correct. So the Supreme God. Well, we do too, but not like in any kind of depth. We go through like, we'll have so many weeks and they'll tell us, okay, well this we're gonna dedicate to the Mayans, or then we're gonna do the Aztecs, and then we're gonna do, you know, the Seminoles or whatever native people they have um, scheduled for that time, but we only go through like so many days of it and then we stop and it's not like anything in depth like this. So it wouldn't be anything like this. It would just pretty much be like what their diets were, like what they did, what they were known for. Um, like, you know, Mayans, obviously we use a lot of their stuff for the calendar, the Mayan calendar. Um, like they did offering sacrifices the region where they were that's the kind of stuff that we but it wasn't anything like this and I'm sure we probably learned about the hierarchy about the priests and everything like that but the supreme god would be in gods uh, religion Warriors will curse slaves. Guide great. Mayan ruins. Uh, Ham radio. It's not what I want either. Mayan clerk for the Vulture. Okay, there it is. Itsamna. Itsamna, I guess. So it's I T Z 
A M N A. Okay, so we've got that now. All this for some damn questions. Like this is ridiculous. Nancy Drew. Why did why is this my job? Why do I have to test this shit? Okay, so Palenque. And then Lady Zack. Vulcan, and then I T Z A M N A. Next. What is the name of the modern Mayan language? Mayan. about 10 minutes Reese cuz I'm gonna stop when you've got to go so let's see if we could find the language what it's called and then we'll go from there language haha <laughs> language uh, writing system Egyptian hieroglyph symbols linguistic group several modern variants exist today so quiche cachico and ixel Ah. All right. Quiche. Uh, Cac. Chico. G. Quo. And what? Ixo? Ixo. Okay. So. That one was. Not as bad. But I hate having to. Like, it doesn't have a save system. Like, it doesn't have a save system. So, how can they. Uh, lady. Sack. Cook. Uh, so. T Z A M N A of A. Well, let's do it. Just says A, so let's do the Ixil one because it's the smallest one. Okay. Congratulations! Oh, that was it! That was it! Yay! Oh, level one quiz. Fuck. If you have already solved the other activities, you may now use your temple key card to descend to the next level. <sighs> Lord Regan is how it's spelled. Just. Yeah, just saying. Ah, yeah, Re Regan doesn't spell very well, but. Uh, be sure to place your temple key card in the card slot to receive credit. Okay, so I can go to the next level. What the fuck does that mean? Oh, is that behind me then? No, it can't be, right? It can't be this shit. It is that. Ooh, so now I'm in the second level. What's in here? Weird artifacts. <laughs> uh, okay. What else is in here that I can look at? That's fucking weird. Sometimes they're like art and shit. Just, it's fucking weird. I mean, it's art, but. So that's anybody's art. There's a button. Should I press the button? I'm gonna press the button. I shouldn't have pressed the button. You minerals. Oh, fuck. Stop. 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 Key features open jaw, jawbone, a uh, skeletal figure with rotten flesh. Oh, that's nice. That's lovely. Uh, eyeballs. Steals the bones and eyeballs of the dead to wear as jewelry. That's that's wonderful. Um, symbols. Arms are marked by the Chimmy death sign. Okay. Mm. 
black spots on his skin show infestation of disease. So, well, aren't you just a bundle of joy? Aren't you? Yeah, yeah, you're exactly. What was that? Lowest level of the underworld, destroyer of life, works against the gods. God damn it, it goes so fast. Yes, got it. What was that last bit? Looks like a division sign to me, but whatever. Yeah, do a little, little automation and go away. What does it say? Next was Lady Rainbow or the Moon Goddess. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, wait. What is this? Uh, angle. Hairs. Colors. Oh. Okay. Well, then I'm going to stop it here. We got to the second level, at least, of the, the temple. And I think there's one more level in the temple. we got to do all this shit again. Um, we've got a few other things to do. We've got to reset the numerical um, exhibit. And then we have to do the audio exhibit. And that's pretty much all that I think I have left right now. Oh, we have to look at Sunny June's floppy disk because I have to put in the right password for that. But I think that's all we have right now just to wander around this exhibit. So um, I'm going to try. I try to stream when you can watch. So um, I will let you know when the next time I will stream this. And I will let you go and have a good night.